The tires are smoking. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to this little episode of Driven Hard here, and uh, this is going to be a cool video. It's going to be a point of view video uh, with some outside shots and commentary, kind of walking you through what I was doing um, during this little hill climb here. So I'm going to do my best not to talk a lot so you can really just hear the sounds and everything working, but here I am approaching the hill. We're in auto terrain response, so automatic in drive, four low, stock Pirelli Scorpion tires. We're going to show you what this is looking like from the outside. All right, a little kiss of the bumper there. All right, lift it up the wheel. You can really hear the, the nuts and bolts of the truck. And for some reason, I killed my momentum. Probably should have just kept going. So here it is from the inside. And then we got a picture, picture here for you. All right, so I've lost all momentum halfway up the little, little hill here. The sand is really deep. Alright, so at this point, what I'm going to try is the all-terrain progress control. And definitely one thing from looking back at these videos, all-terrain progress control is weird. It is just unnatural um, when you're not used to it. And it's still something I need to get used to. Um, because the truck really starts making noises and sounds that you're kind of not used to. So right here, it definitely it could have, see so I just put it in a second there. Just not really being comfortable with the all-terrain progress control. Could probably put it up to third, increased the speed on it a little bit more to really let the, the truck kind of figure it out, give it more time, ignore all the weird sounds it makes, and see if it could really figure it out. But uh, I didn't, I kind of bitched out there. But uh, it's all good. We'll get better at that. So at this point, I'm starting to feel like I'm like, I think I might be rubbing my belly on something. I think I might be high centered a little bit. And uh, there was definitely spots, you'll see it at the very end when I, uh, once I get out, I go back and I kind of show you exactly what I was, what I was fighting on. And you can see where the, the ground has been scraped from all this, uh, from the skid plates and everything. So I was high centered at some points, but like, let's be honest, this is all driver error here. Saying the truck's fault, it's not Sam's fault, it's all driver error. Driver error, but a ton of fun. I guess here's my question to all of you. But in the comments, how long would you have kept fighting this for until you just gave up and went back down the hill? One of the things I knew is like I was never really actually stuck because I could have just backed up. Um, you know, I knew I could back up, kind of turn around a little bit and just, you know, go all the way and came back in. It was not that big of an issue. Um, but where's the fun in that? 
fun going out is conquering stuff, you know, getting stuck and then, you know, fighting your way through it to get unstuck, to, to get over the obstacle yeah, that, that, you know, that, that you're, uh, you're, you're fighting with. That's the joy of doing this. So during this time, I'm kind of going through different modes here. Grass, gravel, snow at one point, mud rides, sand. Um, really just kind of seeing which one's having some sort of effect. Um, after watching this video a few times, Daphnotroxic Control was not my friend. That kept coming in quite a bit, actually. So watch this. I really, I should have just let it let it be in sand and then just kind of just left it in sand If you can start hearing it, but you can probably start hearing the fans going. Um, not just the, the fans of the radiators, and uh, but underneath where the transmission is, I believe there's another one or two fans there. And uh, I actually ended up, you'll see it, I don't know if that video is up yet, but over ended up overheating this. The, uh, I got the warnings for the transmission overheating. And because uh, I've been out here doing this for about 10 minutes, and before this, I was, you know, I was doing some other things up in you know, with, in the sand before I started filming and, you know, drove down the highway. And, uh, you know, it's 40, 42, 43 degrees out, it's desert, no shade, so it's hot, truck's working. But uh, that'll be another video up on the channel, so definitely go check that out. I'll link it up in the cards here if it's, if it's posted yet. I'll talk about what happened and what I had to do. To, to rectify that situation. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Anything else I should have done? Besides bought off-road tires? Anything other than the tires <laughs> that uh, you could think I could have been trying at this point? You know, like I said, you know, I don't consider myself pro. I just consider myself somebody who's having fun with life. Right, so don't be too harsh on me. Definitely at this point, I'm starting to get a little frustrated because I'm like, man, I got up this once already. I got it up, I've been up it before a couple times. Why am I having such a hard time with this? And uh, you see, I start sliding sideways. I don't want to be going that direction. Tilting the wrong way.
almost there, we're almost there. The ties are just not lighted. control not being my friend right now right if I didn't lose that momentum there I think that would have been it You guys see that? Fuck, I hope, I hope that camera was gone. <coughs> no. Why having a spotter is always a good thing. Okay, we're good. First thing is no damage. I was thinking I was caught up on my belly. insane um i'll do my best if i haven't already typed what was going through but i was going through the different modes um i'll do an audio commentary actually so uh, all right that's crazy got up one time no issue but then that second time when i had all the cameras going thank god i set them up because i was fighting it what was what was going on I'll, obviously i haven't seen the video that you guys just saw yet but I'm thinking I must have been held up because that looks like skid plate marks and you can see where it's flattened out. So I must have been, I must have been hung up on the belly. That's why I was kind of shifting around, but shit. All right, let's go do that again.